All right, so this is a New World trailer. It just came out like basically two hours ago. This is Antirum. What is Eternum? Something I pronounced wrong, apparently. The substance of legends. The pulse of adventure. The glory of triumph. You can't cut that tree down, by the way. It sucks. Eternum is life eternal. And death incarnate. This is good. I like the upgraded gear, that's badass. Combat looked pretty cool there. Some of the dungeons, I guess. Oh, what the fuck? This is new. What is Eternum? The fires of destruction. Rage and malice. Eternum is the truth behind nightmares. What is Eternum? That depends on you. That's one of the, so that's the guy you see at the beginning. That's cool. I mean, I think this is cool. Yeah, it's bad. It's, it's badass. Like. I, I do think that one good thing about the New World trailer is the same thing that I said that was good about the original Warcraft trailer is that they don't really show, like they show a few characters that are like important, right? You have like that guy at the very beginning, like this guy here, I think. Let me just go ahead and pull it. Yeah, that guy right there. Like you, like he's part of the story kind of, but it just they just put him in there because he looks cool. Other than that, a lot of this other stuff that they have in here is actually just kind of players interacting with each other. And one thing that I liked about World of Warcraft's original trailer is the fact that they didn't really have a lot of main characters. It wasn't just centered around uh, Magni. It wasn't centered around uh, Bolvar. It was centered around the players, the players interacting with each other. Uh, Kira TV video is about a dungeon preview. Yeah, we'll look and see what the dungeon is. So on the 5th of May 2021, I got to log in and play New World. It was the first time I'd played the game since the summer 2020 preview event. I remember and that. And as I'm sure most of you are aware, a lot has changed. This was yeah. an event I was invited to as well as other content creators and mainstream game press to get on Discord with a bunch of Amazon Game Studios employees and have a crack at one of the recently added dungeons. Yeah. Essentially, we were pre-assigned groups to play in, two Amazon employees per group, and then three content creators, but one of our creators didn't show up or had a technical issue, so we did the dungeon with four man, which made it apparently slightly more difficult. Yeah, New I World why. has voice chat, so we communicated using push to talk, which was surprisingly good quality to be honest, which is going to be a great feature for doing pickup group activities further down the line. So I actually think that people don't give that enough credit. I, I really like how New World has the voice activation and voice chat built into it. And at this point, I feel like voice activation and proximity voice chat in MMOs, it, it should be a given. If you guys wasn't aware of the changes to New World, yeah. of which there are many, too many to go through in this video. Uh, I watched that video. This we is watched a New World expedition, which is essentially any other dungeon. MMORPG dungeon yeah. in terms of how it plays. They have two bosses in each so far, mm -hmm. and this is the first one I've been able to play. They also changed the game so that you have two weapons equipped now instead of three, and your abilities are no longer on a shared cooldown, so you can use all three abilities, swap to your second weapon, use all three abilities immediately. That, the funny thing about that is that's literally exactly what players wanted. Like, and, and that's why I've been kind of positive towards New World, is that New World listened to what players wanted, and then they gave them... The, the thing is, like, players wanted that, and New World didn't give them exactly what they wanted, but they removed one of the weapon slots and then they gave them what they wanted. Yeah, they listened to the player base and they, as game developers, right, it's, it's their job, uh, they came up with a solution that they thought made sense for the game. Uh, I think, yeah, that was, it was a very pog thing for them to do.
so that means the combat is a little bit different yeah but still adheres to the same principle of the majority of your time will be spent left clicking for either light or heavy attacks or at least that was my experience here pretty much the dungeon in terms of layout was actually fairly impressive the rooms were large and visually interesting they had some sort of pseudo choice on which direction we could go and for i i think that one problem with new world is that a lot of the games a lot of the parts of the game felt very copy paste like for example i remember i was going around it, so it was the area it was the area that had scorpius or like scorpio or whatever the fuck it was, it was like that aoe spot and it was it was raining all the time and i went to eight or nine different ancient skeleton ruins and every single one of them had the exact same layout with the exact same mobs and they were just boring man that's what the problem with the game is and i think the dungeons are gonna they might run into that same issue where it's just you know like in wow for example where like you go in a cave and you're like okay so this is the one that you go down here then you go to the left and there's the uh, ramp up to the top and then there's the area with like the water with the rock on top of it okay yeah it's this cave so that's the problem that i think new world has and they also have so much copy paste I want to be honest with you guys though like I'm actually so excited to play this game like regardless of like anything like I am actually so ex I, I cannot wait to play this game man a little while I was hoping it was meaningful but it was essentially just areas we yeah. had to clear and they would become important later on so right off the bat the difficulty of the dungeon was almost non-existent I think this is okay but it's worth mentioning because it will matter for the future depending on the implementation of difficulty within the game this dungeon was of course yeah. for level 25 players and we were level 30 but we didn't have great optimized gear or really know how to properly play the game but even with me and cali being totally fresh we had like two deaths in the whole dungeon and it seemed like i spent the majority of the time just spamming left click to either shoot arrows or swing the spear at things with almost zero regard for what was going on it wasn't even the other problem is that these npcs like so those giant troll monsters are at like almost every single undead settlement in the entire game there's like one of those big troll monsters at every single undead settlement in the whole game and they have the exact same move set they do the exact same thing the only difference is they have a different name and that's what the problem is i i think that's one thing they really need to improve on is just more content for the game i wouldn't be surprised if out of everywhere in new world there were like 50 different npcs like different types of npcs and the only difference is that they had uh different effects that's a problem now if it releases like that it's gonna suck but if the game plays good it's fine it doesn't matter but it does need to be something they improve on so this dungeon is clearly designed in that way if we could form on it when we had no idea what we were doing with zero issues it's unlikely to be a challenge for five players on launch yeah, while leveling that's true but that's okay and it's okay because we know why they've made it this way and we know that they can easily fix this issue if they even see it as an issue by just adding in I, all they need to do listen is as long as the if the leveling dungeons are not super hard listen maradon was not super hard uh dead mines was not super hard stockade was not super hard they don't need to be ridiculously hard it's completely fine if they're not it's just the in-game content there needs to be hard content in the game and not like just artificial difficulty because the guy has like a mil he does like a little one shot to you randomly but actual challenges in the game that you have to overcome difficulty not options lazy difficulty for later in the game think of world of warcraft normal heroic mythic yeah, mythic plus exactly i imagine they have some plans for this already and if they don't they're missing a trick on recycling of content that we've all come to know in the theme park mm -hmm. mmrpg genre I'd like for us to be able to do this dungeon again, with it being actually difficult. More monsters, more mechanics, more loot. I say this because the actual dungeon was fairly interesting. As I said before, the layout was pretty cool, and it was visually impressive. It would be a real shame if we only got to do this dungeon while leveling in its current state, and it yeah. was just this, you know, casual left-click spam simulator with no regard for tactics whatsoever, outside of the bosses, which just seemed to be don't stand in the ghosts for boss one, and the last boss was just don't get hit by the cleave and just kill the adds. But overall, I was actually impressed with how the dungeon feel, especially considering how quickly they must have put this together. Since a few months ago, there wasn't even a mention or a hint of dungeons being in New World. You know, back yeah. before the game was fully transitioned into it, a Holy it's very Trinity theme park game. That's true. I can't say this was the best dungeon ever because it was honestly very short. It was too easy. But if this is their oh, first this is the boss. run at a dungeon 
and making it in such a short period of time. Yeah, that's cool. I'm actually cautiously optimistic for what they can do for future ones given more time. I've said this a million times at this stage, but the most impressive part of New World for me. Uh, is I want to say again, look at that. Look at the NPC right there, the the boss. Actual game world, and that extends now to these dungeons because it was actually a cool experience. How? If you look at that NPC, that is the exact same NPC that was a trash mob earlier in the dungeon. WoW used to do that all the time. Yeah, and Molten Core sucked. Like, it, it sucked because of that. You're right. Like, the only unique boss in Molten Core, wasn't it uh, fucking Rag? I'm pretty sure every other boss was not unique in, in MC. It, it's, it's disappointing to see that happen. But again, it's something that I hope they can improve on in time. Well, this dungeon would feel like 10 runs in i can't really say maybe it gets old but yeah. if the other dungeons in the game are just this but more difficult hopefully more in depth i can see them being a cool addition to the game for sure and let's be real here it's required content for these to be good because with the pivot yeah. from an open world focus to having more pve content for the crowd yeah. that they're looking to please very true these dungeons need to be really good as that's what the audience they're aiming for is used to I mean, think of Final Fantasy XIV, World of Warcraft. They have really good dungeon experiences, in yeah. my opinion. And for those players to leave those games that already has all that content and all of that sunk cost fallacy of playing those games for many years to come play New World, they have yep. to nail this aspect. Very true. Overall, I liked the experience, and it's a step in the right direction. It could have been better, but I was honestly expecting worse with how short of a time frame they had to get these together. I hope dungeons further towards the end game are bigger. Mm -hmm. I hope they don't stick to this two boss per dungeon design. I really agree with that because that's actually one of the big reasons why I really don't like... I think that Blizzard, and this is like super early on, like the Blizzard strategy or philosophy on making dungeons actually changed in Burning Crusade. And in Burning Crusade... Blizzard made all dungeons to be formulaic with like three to five bosses basically for every single one and there was like a chosen you go this way you take this path and you do this thing so in in vanilla wow for example you had uh dungeons like uh I think Maradon is a great example where you do completely different runs based off of what level you are uh, you have Blackrock Depths, who's a completely different dungeon, but it's like a it's like a whole it's basically like a whole zone in the game that's just in dungeon format. And I I always think that BRD is the best dungeon Blizzard's ever made. Uh, well, like yeah, Maradon BRD are the best example. Sunken Temple, look at Sunken Temple. Sunken Temple was incredibly complex. It was to some degree. Like, I guess you could choose not to do the whole thing. Yeah, it's true. Like, some people would just go down and kill the guy down. Then you'd have to kill the different uh, prophets. I think that MMOs need more dungeons like the original Sunken Temple. I think they need more dungeons like, um, and, and I'll say this too, like Mechagon. Mechagon was to some degree open world. Like, uh, Operation Mechagon was fucking amazing. I really liked it. And I think that New World should try to look at making dungeons that expansive design that you can, you're going into like an open area that's in, that's instanced, basically. It's kind of like a dungeon and you can choose what you want to do in there. And there's like different options and the difficulty scaling is very high. And yeah, like Dire Mall is another good example. Um, there's many examples of this. We get some sprawling dungeons, like old school World of Warcraft design. True. With multiple it, directions it, to go, a super deep experience that can take hours to navigate. I think that would be honestly amazing, especially given yeah. the feeling that New World gives a lot of us. I remember true. the first time I logged in and played the game. I was still and so, I'm still so impressed true. with the game world and the visuals of it. Standing on a too. hill and seeing players from a massive distance running around yeah. this new world we all want to inhabit as MMORPG fans. If they can translate that feeling into large dungeons with difficult content, varied me methods of navigation, exploration, difficult boss mechanics, varied in interesting loot, I'll be sold on the idea of New World as a theme park experience. But with super short on-rails dungeons, of which there's currently only a couple in the game, I still have to say this is super far off being an experience that will captivate the majority of the audience that they're targeting. I want things the size of Blackrock depths, but in New World's aesthetic and style. What a, that's such a good, that's such a great insight that he has. Like that's actually, I, I really like this guy. He has such great ideas. He really does. He's such a smart guy.
this dungeon for me if i had to put it into a metaphor was like i entered a restaurant starving hungry and they served me half a bowl of soup with no bread i enjoyed it but i'm still hungry i hope they serve up yeah, the main course with much more that. substance so hopefully you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching as always leave me a like leave me a comment let me know what you think and subscribe if you're not already i really do appreciate it, it takes you two seconds totally free and then if you think i'm a dick you can unsub later uh then put us in the same group rip oh yeah force gaming this guy dude this guy makes a lot of great mmo content too oh i see so this is a marketing campaign for new world and they wanted everybody to release their content for new world at the same time as the trailer so i'm gonna skip to about right here just to get his in thoughts of the video because like we're just gonna watch i don't want to watch the whole beyond thing. this introductory dungeon i'm hopeful that the bosses themselves aren't just scaled versions of existing models that would be nice but <laughs> See, this guy's really smart, too. I, I can't believe how smart these two guys are. Th these guys are just... Wow. And w w what's funny about it, right, is that... It's so obvious. Like, everybody fucking knows. Everybody fucking knows it. So, I and New World devs know it, too. Like, there's no way that they, they don't know it. I just think that selfishly... I would have appreciated a bit more of a challenge. Even with the understanding that this is the first dungeon of the game but anyways i think one thing they could do and this is like what i was saying about the group quests and stuff like that is um in the group quests you were able to choose if you wanted to solo them or not i i really like in dungeons where they have like these optional bosses that are really hard to do but they have some sort of special award to them or special reward to them or something like that um like obviously Vis visitus in aq40 is a great example of this um nightbane is another great example of that what about dungeons i'm thinking about dungeons guys algalon yeah algalon another great example so you have like these different types of uh of things like that that you can use to like give those better groups and those more experienced groups that extra little challenge that they can do too and that's what i really think that these things should have is they should have those extra bosses. It's like, you know, oh, this is level 25 dungeon, but if you go in this door, there's a level 33 boss, and he's got eight different abilities, and you can fight him too. Yeah, Calling of Strath Calling of Strathlums, oh, dude, Calling of Strathlum is a perfect example. There's some more. After the dungeon, mm -hmm. I actually continued to play around for a while longer. I swapped out the ice gauntlet a a to what beca has become one of my favorite weapon combos, which is the bow and spear. Both of these scale off I dexterity, like which gives a nice ranged and melee weapon option while all focusing on a single attribute. I really like that. I kind of putzed around the open world for yeah. a while, um, and I was reminded basically why I'm looking forward to this game so much. It I went around, good. explored a few different zones, going into different encampments, and I still feel like the NPCs, the way that they swing and the way they attack feels really jerky to me. It feels like really... Oh, oh, oh. It, it doesn't feel as fluid as I think it should. And all of it was a lot of fun. I think the game world looks great. Uh, I've enjoyed yep. playing it. Just moving around and exploring like has been axe. really fun. Cool. It's just been an enjoyable world to spend time in. And then before I logged off for the event, sword, I decided though. to... Uh, go give one of my favorite MMO experiences a shot, and that is soloing group content. So I went back to- <laughs> What a loser. I thought he was gonna say killing low level players. <laughs> what, a care, what a care bear, imagine that. Oh, you go down, you kill low level players. What do you mean? The expedition, I went back to Amory and excavation, and I, did I wanted same... to see how far I could get all by myself. I actually, I actually, actually got thing. further than I expected. Yeah. I cleared all the way up to that first large group of elites with a geist and a ton of those zombies. Unfortunately, their sheer numbers did me in, but hey, it was still really fun because I appreciate the challenge, like I mentioned. And at least doing this stuff solo presented some sort of a challenge. I don't mean to harp on the fact that this was all so face roll easy. I'll reiterate again that this is meant to be an introductory dungeon. They, yeah. they've talked about the fact that this yeah. first dungeon is tuned down in its difficulty and everything all the more reason i think we should have been level 25 but it's okay the whole main point See, of this is to just get a you look right i mean like look just for a second this is like a, a good example thing. of what i was saying all the more reason i think we should have been level look at that like that that sucks like that that's not that's not good it's not good design it's like poe yeah and what is one of the biggest problems with poe visual clarity yeah, and I don't think the effect itself, like if you put that effect down, that's fine. 
right? But like you shouldn't have that happen because somebody else cast it on you unless they're on another team. Like if, for example, like the part of like a, a fucking ice wizard is obscuring the vision of other people. It's like think of the Jaina fight in uh, Battle of Dazar War. So it's not like this is completely unheard of. And I think it's really cool. But the difference is that Jaina wasn't on your team. That's the difference. You were fighting against her. 25 but it's okay the whole main point of this is to just get a look at the dungeon itself difficulty yeah, yeah, aside yeah. does bring me back to the point that i am a, a little bit disappointed that the boss fights weren't unique creatures again they were just reused character models of existing enemy types that we fought yeah. a bunch over and over again i really really hope that going forward with more of these boss encounters they're not just giving a few uh, new abilities to existing creature types exactly um, i want to see more yes. unique stuff that would be great that ideally that would be really good and like i want to again i'm sorry i just i keep talking about this a few uh, new abilities to existing creature types um i want like right there this is the problem is that the spell effects obscure your vision from the necessary things that you need to see to see another example stuff that would be great that ideally yeah. that would be really good maybe that's a side effect again though of this being an introductory dungeon mm -hmm. Not exactly the best excuse, but e look, yeah, either yeah. way, I think it was cool to see the dungeon. I had fun. I'm glad dungeons are in the game. I'm hoping for the best. Um, I, I'm really excited, uh, again, to play more New World. I cannot wait till this thing comes out. We got that beta yeah, coming yeah. up in July. I'm really excited for that as well. And just in general, I'm looking forward to seeing more. This is the very first dungeon experience. Hope you guys enjoyed going through it with me. Really, really interested to see what the upcoming dungeons are going to look like as well in terms of the mob variety, in terms of the difficulty. And yeah, in terms of how interesting and or unique are the other bosses. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and this walkthrough it's of good. our very first New World expedition. Appreciate your time. Uh, as always, thanks for the support. I don't know yeah. what to say. <laughs> I'm having a hard time wrapping up my videos. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you all and uh, have a good one. I'll see you next time. So um, let me ask a very simple question. Does this make you more or less excited for the game? Because for me, I think it probably makes me a little bit more excited about the game to know that they're making it less excited. So I would say that it probably makes me more excited overall to just see the content itself. But I do think that the core problems with the game, right, like lack of, you know, mob diversity, uh, you know, like the mobs just being easy to kill, etc., that's not really going away. And it's going to be hard for them to figure out a way to do that. So I, I want to say that it's going to be hard for them to do. So um, I would say way more. I'm excited that it, I'm hoping that it gets better. Okay. That's really what it comes down to. Yeah. Visual clutter, especially disappointing because if any company can throw a legion of artists at shit like that, it's Amazon. Well, here's the, here's the silver lining. Okay. Is that as long as like changing NPC models is not that hard to do. It's just not. That's why I think it's okay. Like, that's why I'm not freaking out. That, it's not that hard to do. And also, before I fucking get into this, WoW did this with Tier 2 armor. So this is something that WoW has done. Many of the other NPC models inside of uh, vanilla WoW dungeons are all reskins. They're all just human characters. Like, there's basically no unique models in all of Dead Mines. I was thinking about it while I was watching the video. No unique models in all of Dead Mines. No unique models in all of Skolomont's. And besides, like, just characters that have certain armor on. Like, that's basically it. Yeah, 15 years ago, though. Yeah, it's very true. And so, nowadays, I think people do expect to see uh, more visual diversity. Absolutely. So, let's go ahead and we're going to look at the Ashes of Creation news.